Layout of CMOS inverter with horizontal NMOS and PMOS transistor is shown over here. A is input and B is output and we can observe both the gates are placed horizontal. Let us identify how to find area of this transistor. You can observe on your screen size of this layout is 38 cross 72. MOS technology is used with scale of 200 nanometer. 200 nanometer is equivalent to 0.2 micrometer. So we can multiply size by 0.04 micrometer square. So area of this inverter is 109.44 micrometer square. Now let's look at another layout by putting both the transistor vertical. We will create new cell. In Explorer, you can observe previous layout is already there. In new cell, we are going to create new layout. Always remember save library before closing electric. Then only all the cells will be preserved in same library. With same method, we'll place NMOS and PMOS transistor. Using rotate, we will rotate both transistor. Size of NMOS is 10 by 2 and size of PMOS is 20 by 2. So for contact, now we will change its Y sizes. Make sure that alignment of N active and NMOS are same. If not, then align them properly using arrow key. Make connection and after that, move N active towards NMOS transistor. For moving, always use arrow key. Also make sure that N active is selected before moving. DRC in between. We can observe there is little gap between NMOS and PMOS. So we will move complete structure by selecting that.
its are connected we will place n well and p well source of nmos will be connected with p well with metal for connection you can also place this metal contact and connect with both the end in that case width of this connection will be minimum while connecting source with ground So this will be source of NMOS. This will act as a drain. This will act as source of PMOS and this need to act as drain. So we will connect this drain with VDD. We have placed connect. And we will connect both the end so the metal wire is visible. Drain of NMOS is connected with source of PMOS. That also need to be connected with the metal wire. Gates are connected with polysilicon. So our inverter is ready. Now we will export our input and output. This time I have used in and out as my input and output. Perform power and ground export and now we are ready to write spy spec. A spy stack is also ready. Let's look at the size of this inverter. You can observe in this case size is 31 cross 73.
So you can observe size of this inverter is 90.52 micrometer square. You can also observe that vertical inverter is much more compact than horizontal gate inverter. Let's look at its pipe simulation. So we will open newly created spy stack. You can observe over here area and parameter parameters of drain and source are added in addition to both NMOS and CMOS. We can add parameters required for measurement. Here now we need to change because we have given input to the in terminal. Output is already taken at the, from the out terminal. So we need to also change instead of this B, now we need to write out because out is our output terminal. So, we are going to measure our rise time and fall time on that out terminal. So, we will also measure output voltage on out. We are ready to execute our step now. This is a newly created We will add pen and we can observe this V in which is our input. And V out which is our output. Using tools control panel you can go into this waveform and you can change font size over here. As well as you can change data address width. So from 1 I have changed it to 3. That's why the form width is little thick. Due to our measurement script, timings are already measured. We will look at spice error log. So now you can observe that rise time is 74.298 picosecond and fall time is 42.35 picosecond. We are also having a spy stack of previously created horizontal gate layout. You can observe that according to your connection, there could be change in these parameters. And if you execute this, the forms will be similar because it is inverted itself. But in measurement, little difference could be observed. If connection lengths are more, then there will be more amount in timing. You can observe some fractional difference in your layout. You can verify this on your terminal. If you increase size of your layout, then definitely your rise time and fall time parameters will be more. So now I am very much sure that you are able to create inverter and inverter layout and you are able to measure its rise time and fall time. Also you can compare area of vertical and horizontal layout. Thank you.